This is a very, very unusual video for me on this channel and there's a reason for it, so stick with me. In today's video, I am going to do a clothing haul and a try on, which is not something that you see often on this channel. Now, the reason that you don't see it is because it's not necessarily quite my thing. My thing is a little bit more about telling you stories and motivating you into your lusher life, which of course is my absolute passion and I completely love it. But there's a story to this as to why I decided to go ahead and continue with the purchase of these clothes, even though I should have really cancelled the order. So, you like a story, this I know. So, that... <laughs> It's quite interesting. So I'm going to go through. I've got loads of stuff. Uh, there's a reason that I bought them. That's my dog you're going to hear around the place. There's a reason that I bought them and there's a reason that I didn't cancel them. So at the minute it's 2020. We are still in the midst of all the issues going on in the crazy world right now. So I wanted to buy some cute little outfits and I'm going to show you what I'm wearing right now in my in my bedroom you're actually in my room which isn't often doesn't often happen so this is the first little outfit which i'm going to show you in a second um and the reason that i bought it well all of them there's a whole big pile of stuff here look at this so i bought all of these because i had a bit of a dream that i wanted to come into fruition now if you know me you'll know that i'm a big fan of the law of attraction and making things into your lusher life and i wanted to order these clothes i'm going to call this dream a job right so there was me i wanted a job particularly a gig something that i wanted to work for and i had it in my mind that it would be really nice to have some nice fresh new threads shall we call them um to wear at this new job and this new job was nowhere to be seen it was something i completely manifested in my mind it was it was not anything and i was just like if i order some nice new stuff and then that will get me forward thinking that that show me a way into the law of attraction um to make this happen now if you know me you'll know i'm quite a determined individual and i will do what it takes to get kind of to take life up a gear that's why i call it the lusher life so these clothes were ordered where are we now it's october so june july august september these clothes were ordered four months ago and they haven't come and i've had email backwards and forwards backwards and forwards with this company called cheek so so or chic so so um and i said to them look this is really poor service where's the stuff and they was like the stuff's coming the stuff's coming the stuff's coming would you like a refund would you like a refund and first of all i thought yeah you know what I spent, well, I'll tell you at the end what I've spent on this because you're going to be quite astounded, actually. These clothes were not expensive at all. Um, but I thought, I spent this money. I'll get my money back. I'll get a refund. Why, you know, why am I bothering? Then I thought, hang on a minute. Then that's sending out my message to the universe that these clothes are not going to be um, worn. So therefore, they're not, we're not going to have this job. So I decided to hang on in there. And they sent me an email not long ago and they said, listen, we've got two items missing. Let's refund you those and send everything else out. I thought, yeah, 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 yada, yada. And then eventually the stuff turned up and I was like, oh my God, look at this. And today I've put the first outfit on. I'm going to show you them all bit by bit. So as I say, it's not something that I normally do at all, this kind of thing. And I always find the camera makes me blinking huge. So I really don't like that. Um, but everybody that does clothing hauls must go through that. And normally they're like pencil thing. So I am quite a curvy girl. I quite like that. I'm not going to hide away from that fact. So ha let's have a little look at this first outfit. And there's the whole of the others. Uh, oh my God. Okay, so you can't see. So, um, so this is a little... It's a, it's a kind of dress almost, but it's not a dress. It is a, uh, it's got clots, they're clots. And, they, so, and this is the bottom half and I think they're really quite cute. So they come to sort of here and I paired them up with a little denim jacket and my pumps, which I'm probably gonna wear quite a lot of those. So what do you think of this one? It's incredibly comfortable and I've had it on today, but I need to get into some, I've got to do some, some not very clean jobs this afternoon. So I am going to have to change. So I may as well change and show you all the others, might I? Just before I do, I'll just show you this. The stuff all came really nicely packaged in these really nice bags that have got the little zip ups. And yeah, it was really packaged nice. And I was quite impressed, I can't lie. 
Okay, so outfit number two is very different and um, I'm not 100% sure on it. Let's have a little look in the mirror. So this is the pattern. It is particularly booby and I don't mind showing a bit of cleavage, but um, at the moment I'm not confident that that's going to stay closed and I haven't got a very good suntan going on with it. But it's a cute little dress, um, quite long, quite cute pattern little cute little arm details look where it's tied like that um so this one i'm not so sure jewelry is out slightly let me show you from a distance and you can tell me what you think and it's got a lot of buttons so i'm not a fan of buttons at all um but i don't know what do you think on my clothes um and i don't know about the color on me not too sure um but anyway it is quite cute and it will do for an occasion and honestly these outfits were so reasonably priced that you're going to be quite shocked outfit number three quite unusual quite odd um you will definitely think this is pajamas if you was to see them on out and about now it really does look like pajamas doesn't it uh odd sleeves but you could actually wear this undone over some bikini or something like that on holiday. I think that'd be quite cute. Now this next outfit was the actual dress that made me place the order. Um, I had high hopes for it and I'm not disappointed. I think it's absolutely lovely. Um, I don't know where to show you this. Shall I show you in the mirror? I, wanna, I kinda wanna flip the mirror. Anyway, here is the little cutesy little dress. Um, it's got gorgeous little detail here um really pretty sort of poppies on it like white poppies or something it's quite classic i think quite sort of i don't know if it i'm um, i can't quite figure out if it ages me or not and it definitely needs something around here but I quite often wear my scarfy type things that that's there it actually looks a whole lot nicer than it does on camera tell what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and show you it in this mirror like this we don't really have enough in the way of mirrors in this house but can you see Oh, anyway, I don't know, but I do really like this and it's very comfy to wear. Quite formal. It would be really nice with like a little jacket or a little bolero. Also, purple is my favourite colour. That's something that I was going to tell you guys. Obviously, none of us are getting any younger. And it's getting to the stage it's really hard to undo your zip at the back. And I think that's what men were designed for. And there currently is not one. If you read the book, um, the COVID book, which we linked below, you will see my story, my conversation with my friend Pip. I think that's leading to where's the man to undo my zip. So this feels quite a lot more like me. This is kind of a jumpery sort of thing. It's the weirdest feeling of... Um, it looks like a sweatshirt, but it's not. And I've got a feeling Jasmine might steal it. Um, it, it is quite oversized. I mean, you could kind of have it off your shoulder, whatever. But yeah, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in it. It's not as nice as it, I thought it was going to be all embroidered and stuff there, but it's not. But like I say, these these things aren't dear. This is super pretty, but miles too big. Um, it's not going to stay on the shoulders. And it's just got this little writing that's not actually writing all over it. And it's just a little top. But because it's so big, I'm not going to show you that one. Oh, I do love myself a maxi dress. So this is like a maxi dress. It feels really nice. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Um, oh, yeah, that's much better, isn't it? So it goes right down to the ground. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, that one's really nice. I really, really like that one. But this is really nice. This is quite flattering, actually, even though there it doesn't look like it. But it really is. It's quite flattering. It's very comfy. And um, I would wear this probably with a little pair of boots, flat ones I'd be quite comfortable with. Um, turning up for work in the new in the new role with um this kind of little outfit on um it's this is really comfy this is something that you really just throw on in the summer put it with a jacket in the winter i quite like my denim jackets my denim jackets and pumps nice the next one's quite a formal one so <laughs> i keep messing my hair up so i would wear this one um anytime this is quite cute. This is like very autumnal. It's got pleated skirt, which is quite cute, isn't it? Uh, again, that goes right down to the ground. And the fit is lovely. Um, I've got all sorts of weird kind of... Um, I've got all sorts of weird shapes and sizes and colours. I think that actually is really nice. I definitely would wear that to work. Um, 
probably with straight hair is quite cute on it actually so yes very happy with this one this is so comfy like i said quite formal you could wear it day night unusual for me quite an unusual sort of print but i like it why not why shouldn't you this is weird to be like this isn't it to do a whole haul thing but i've only got one more right quite sadly this one's too big because i was just thinking i'm going to say this is coming to the maldives but yeah no it's definitely too big it's not going to stay on i don't think i do really like that but no it's definitely too big so then this one's quite cute i'm not convinced yeah i don't know really see if i like little dresses i like the little they're kind of like skater dresses do you know what i mean by that um but anyway this is this one it's got like a little wrap around thing goes around the waist so all of these clothes all together including the two that aren't here cost 170 pounds and that's a lot of outfits for you know that amount of money i think that's quite good the customer service was pretty shocking because it took so long and I don't know if that was just simply because of the situation, I'm not sure. But regardless, I have managed to manifest myself some nice clothes, very formal some of these because I'm going to be probably talking to some clinicians um, pretty soon. And yeah, I suppose, I suppose I've got to be quite formal, haven't I? Have I? Can I just turn up bare feet and just flip around the stage? That'd be fine. Anyway, so um, so yeah, so that there's a bit of a story as to you know this and why I've done this, but I'm not going to be an outfit of the day kind of girl on this channel. That's not my thing. But I did want to give you a little bit of a manifestation story and and like how this has helped me to manifest something new that I'll be telling you about really really soon. Um. But yeah, I'm feeling really great. So if you like this video, and I know it's unusual, but please give it a thumbs up. And um, and I hope if you've ordered anything from Chic So So, please do leave your comments down below. Um, I'm just going to mention quickly my lovely friend Sally Atkins, and I'll, I'll link her below. She sent me this gorgeous bracelet. And I, it's a feather, but I sort of say that's a quill. So as a writer, the quill thing is like symbolic and it's gorgeous, sterling silver beautiful bracelets that she makes so i'll link her below as well and anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time Bye.